it's Wendy here from again from Tim Fish Crafts. Welcome back. Um, thanks for joining. And uh, hello to everybody that knows me, and hello to those newcomers. Uh, welcome. I'm going to try and show you what I know about resin and crafting, and we'll have a journey together. This is only my second video, uh, so it's all new to me, and you know, we're going for it. <laughs> Lucky do. So today I want to show you about the way I use mica powder. Now, a lot of people dust mica powder onto moulds to give colour effects, which is great on non-shiny moulds. If you've got a shiny mould, you really want to put resin in so that you know you get a shiny effect. But if you've got a non-shiny uh, resin mould, it's nice to colour it before you put the resin in, and it get, you can give you can get different effects with mica powder. Um, you can shade a little. It's not. It's not pure silence. It's. It's not perfect. But the way I do it with tiny, tiny details is to mix it with alcohol. Now I saw this with a guy that was using um, milliput. He was using milliput and he was getting it in tiny little cracks. And the way he did it was mix it with alcohol, put it in the tiny crack, and when the milliput went off, it went hard, and you could sand it. The same kind of thing with mica powder. Mica powder, when mixed with alcohol, becomes lucid, like paint. The alcohol evaporates and it leaves the powder behind. I've never seen anyone else do this on Instagram. I've never seen anyone else do it on YouTube. I, I, I just came up with this. So I thought I'd share. Um, this video gives you a little insight on how to do it. It's not a, a perfect video. It's just a little tiny mould. I don't think I've got the mould with me to show you. <laughs> useless um, so it's not it's it's just my idea it's it's the way I do it with a lot of pieces because it gives a more concentrated color because there's more powder in a smaller area plus the fact when it's lucid you can put it in tiny tiny places and when the alcohol evaporates which doesn't take that long it's only a few moments minutes if that the first bit you'll see in the video is, is just me giving an example of the different colour. That dried within about two or three minutes. So it's not hard and it's not long-winded. And it gives such beautiful colour effects. I'll show you this. I hope you enjoy it. If you can share this video, I'll be terribly grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Here's the video.